Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Iconic Masters and what I hope to see in the set. This is the seven cards on my list that I would want to see in Iconic Masters. Interestingly enough, no reserve list cards will be in the set and there's no new cards. Sounds obvious, but you never know. So every single card will be a reprint and every reprint will come from Magic's 23 year history. So let's talk about the price. The price is $10 a pack. Why that is interesting, without reserve list cards and without reprinting too many cards that just were reprinted, it's gonna be difficult to get the value at $10 a pack unless some of these seven cards are on that list and not just one or two of them, but the value has to be there, otherwise people will just continue to buy Modern Masters 2017 and not this new set. And Wizards of the Coast has shown they are really interested in selling new sets. So let's talk about Mana Drain. This is a $200 card. It was reprinted one time as a Judge promo. Since RTR, it has been going up a little bit. Definitely one of the best cards in EDH. As you will notice, a lot of these cards on this list are EDH cards, but out of the price range of most players. So Mana Drain as a uncommon that is not on the reserve list at $200 does make sense. They'll probably print it as a mythic and it will be the chase card of the set. Definitely a lot of value in it. So next we will have Imperial Seal. This is a $540 card. As a judge promo, it's $180. Portal Free Kingdoms was a set that we didn't get very much of. So Imperial Seal is the, it's exactly Vampiric Tutor from Mirage and later reprinted in six edition, I believe. Vampiric Tutor is a very powerful card in ED8. And play it in every single deck that can play it. Because why wouldn't you do it? It's a tutor for one. Yes, you lose some life. And yes, you use, lose some card advantage. But tutoring for any card you want for one black is insane. Now, what happens if you can do it twice? If you have Vampiric Tutor, which most decks do have. And you have Imperial Seal, which most decks do not have. I think this could be a really hot selling point at $10 a pack. A $550 reprint would be insane and would also move merchandise extremely fast. This card, it's good, it's just not unique and the fact that some decks have it that can afford it and some decks that really need it and want it cannot pay the 550 some people can't pay that. I feel like it should be reprinted in a set. The price is a little out of control and I could see that why they want it, but at the same time it would be great to have $550. Now Imperial Recruiter, another card from Portal Free Kingdoms. Uh, one of the reasons that Portal Free Kingdoms is so expensive, even at the uncommon level for a really good uncommon, is due to the fact that there's not much of it out there. There's just not much. Um, if you're lucky enough to get a booster pack, if you're lucky enough to get a booster box, I mean, these things won't be open anymore because they're so valuable as collector's items. Imperial Recruiter is actually a card necessary. It's great in, uh, in Legacy. It's great in the Lurin type of decks, and it's amazing in EDH. What more, the more tutor abilities there are, the better. And a tutor in red is pretty rare. I mean, you do have gamble, but gamble again, you could discard a card that you just tutor for and then go down a card. Overall, uh, Imperial Recruiter has been printed one time as a judge promo, which is still $215. I feel like they can get both or one Imperial Seal and Imperial Recruiter if they use different artwork and not Free Kingdoms artwork that will save the price of the original, making it the most pimp version, and that will allow players to actually get the card. Now, a card that I'm pretty sure we're gonna see is So Ring. So Ring is uh, when it was printed, it was considered almost the power nine. 
that almost got called the Power 10, but because of the reserve list, there was only nine cards that were really hard to find. So Rang, in many aspects, is actually better than a Mox. A Mox, you pay zero and you get one colorless. Here, you pay one and you get two. So if you look at the Mirage versions, as well as the Urza Ur Ur Saga versions of how much these things cost today, or back in the day, Charcoal Diamond is two, comes in play, produces one black. The Power Stone is free, comes in play, produces two generic. So you could have an argument that So Ring is more powerful than Mox's, and the only reason that it is not Power 9 is due to the fact it's uncommon and in every single Commander product right now. So Ring is a very powerful card, especially given the mana abilities, the tricks you can use with it, as well as EDH's just loving, I mean, accelerating that fast is crazy. Paying one to get two, and then next turn you can just accelerate into anything you want. There's not many cards I would rather have, minus the Black Lotus, on turn one and EDH than So Ring. And maybe even So Ring is better than Black Lotus because it's repetitive, and it's unlikely that that Lotus is going to kill your opponent in turn one. So So Ring, I do hope it will be there. We will get this angel. Uh, Sarah's angel is anywhere between $0.50 cents and $191 for the alpha version. That being said, I hope they keep the iconic artwork. Or if they do her with new artwork, I feel like a full body image would be a lot better. I, that's one of the things that I think they can do a good job of, doing a full art of these classic cards. Because sometimes you only see like half the art, but you really do want to see like even Shivering Dragon, like you want to see the whole dragon, right? So this card will definitely be in the set. As for mentioned, it is an angel, and they have pointed at that particular uh, tribe as going to be popular. So I probably think Sarah Angel, Lightning Bolt, a lot of the classics and goodies will be uncommons. Lightning Bolt might be a common again. As long as they're not the rare or mythic, I just cannot imagine you pulling one of these and being happy with spending $10, given the fact that you could get it for 50 cents or less in multiple editions, and it's a heavily reprinted card. One of the cards that I love, and there's nothing better than playing a Sarah Angel on the kitchen table without any sleeves. Classic card, and I do feel like we should see some classic cards. Now, the value... The value is an issue, right? You don't want to pay $10 a pack to get this classic card. And next, I'm going to talk about Mox Opal. Mox Opal, you might find as a very strange one because it was reprinted as a masterpiece in Caldes. It was reprinted in Modern Masters 2015. The reason I have Mox Opal here, I just have it as a placeholder. I do feel like they should, if they cannot print the the Moxes or the Black Lotus, maybe they will have something like Gilded Lotus, Lotus Bloom. They should have a Lotus card and they should have a Mox card. I'm not sure which one which one they should have, but Mox Opal steadily creeped up to $60. It might not be a bad one to have at this time. And when you talk about the price point, it's only really going to go up until it gets reprinted again. And I don't feel like anyone's going to be disappointed if they pay $10 and they got a Mox Opal. Now, Mox Opal is Mythic. One of the problems of this set, I feel like, is the Mythics have to be very iconic. And that would be difficult to do, given that most iconic cards, when I think of Angels, Hydras, I don't want any of them at Mythic. Wizards of Coast has gotten better at figuring out what people want at Mythic and what they want as rares. But at the same time, it is, you know, no one wants to get a Mythic Hydra in a box of 24 packs that they paid $240 to buy. That just feels bad, especially given that this is a Christmas product. Remember, this product is coming out in November, just in time for Christmas. Now, the most likely card we're going to see as one of them is Rashawn Port. And this card has not been printed in some time. It has a Judge promo. Hmm, actually, now that I realize it, what they should do is they should take every Judge promo and just print them with the Judge promo artwork. Imperial Seal, Imperial Recruiter, Rashawn Port, 
why not? I mean, wouldn't that be great? Force a will of the judge promo artwork. That would kind of suck for judges, and that's why they won't do it. But it would be incredible for players because players, those cards are largely out of reach for the regular Magic players, given how expensive and exclusive they are. I do expect this card to be in the set. And the reason I expect it, there's not that many high value cards. They got to give you the Lily. They got to give you the Snap. They got to give you the Fetch Lands. They've set a very high standard. Modern Masters 2017, although the expected value is of a box is only $200 right now. Before reprints, tank prices was amazing. Damnation, Blood Moon, Goblin Guide. Fetch lands, enemy fetch lands, and those are all that. Those are cards at non mythic. The mythics have to be amazing. They have to be very strong, and that's how they're going to sell this set during Christmas time. Because during Christmas time, you have lots of options. The consumer is always king, but during Christmas or queen, during Christmas time, this is especially true in the marketplace when everyone is trying to sell toys and stuff. So. I'm sure Hasbro, being a huge toy company, knows what my Iconic Masters is going to be. It's a holiday set for people to buy to give to their loved ones when they don't know what magic is. Kind of like a gift box, but like 10 times as expensive. Anyway, leave me a comment below, below of what cards you would like to see in the set. This is just my list of seven, and hopefully we will see some of them. Anyway, that's it guys. Bye.